Hello, I'm Joseph Lovecchio with the Parts Consultant Group, and today we are going to look at SARA cases. SARA is a ticketing platform similar to IDS that is used for technical parts issues and ETK issues. Tickets are reviewed by the PCG and addressed or escalated to Germany for further assistance. We generally use SARA for ETK clarification and correction, determining a correct part, verifying correct application of a part, as well as specific technical issues that might arise when using a particular part. SARA is not used for ETA's parts release for block parts, requesting a stock check, or IT usage issues and password resets. ETA's stock checks and parts released would be through IDS. IT or password issues would be through your DEMS administrator. We're going to look at a specific case here, and that is going to be for an ETK correction, which will be one of the more common uses that you'll use a SARA case for. The case we're going to look at today involves a E83X3, and it involves the lower trim panel that ETK is showing as gray. What we see is that if we look in the configurator image of the vehicle, we see that there is tan interior, but the lower parts of the interior are indeed black or anthracite. So ETK is telling us that this is gray, this is not correct. We've determined that there is a correct part number in anthracite to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to submit an ETK correction. The lower corner of ETK, there is a SARA button in the diagram screen. If you click on that, that will open SARA and you can begin to create a case. In this case, it gives us a title, which is the first step. We are going to put this in as an ETK error. We're going to give it one workshop visit. The priority that we're going to give on this will be information only, since we've already determined the correct part and we're just letting the ETK correction team know that there is an issue. If we had an urgent issue where we needed more information on a part, determining a part, we would do this as an urgent case and also list it as a breakdown. But in this case, we're just doing this as information. We need to put in a description of the work that was done and what the issue is. Simply, you can't say, this is wrong, please fix. You have to give factual information and let them know specifically what's wrong and if there is a correction, what the correction is. So we're letting them know that the vehicle we're working on, specifically what it is, including the interior code, the diagram, the position, what the issue is, and we've let them know what we have as the correct part number. We will let them know that we did ETK. It's given us the part number that is the original part that's listed. You can leave that in there or you can put the new part number. The next section we go to is an attachment. If we have a relevant picture, we would attach relevant pictures that would describe or show the issue that we're having. If it's an ETK correction, you do not need to submit a screenshot of ETK since the team in Germany already has access to ETK and they will be able to see the problem. So our next step in this case will be fetch data, which we can go over. Um, we review the case and the last thing we would do here is submit. This will then be sent to review by the parts consultant group in the US. We will forward it to Germany or follow up with you to request more information and then forward it to Germany. Germany will then make a determination and hopefully we'll have an ETK correction shortly thereafter. Any questions or comments or if you have any ideas for future videos, please contact us at the parts consultant group.